Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. Today I am going to share with you a customization of a 30 by 30 diamond painting canvas. Now this canvas I bought about three years ago when I started on my diamond painting journey. Looking at the image, what it is supposed to be is uh, red leafed trees going around here to form a love heart as you can see and yes this one we'll get it out of the way early definitely has color 666 in it being that it is so red so this one is actually a square kit and when I was looking at it when I was um, deciding whether to do it or not I thought it would be perfect for a customization because you've got this nice clear bit in the center where it's meant to be the canopy of the trees is opened up and a love heart's formed but bear with me if you've been a viewer of my channel for a while you know probably where I'm going with this one <laughs> I couldn't help but see this part here as well now that took away from it being like a love heart for me and it looks a bit more like a vulva the whole thing so I'm sorry but that's where my mind went so I thought this is going to be perfect to customize with the word whoop, quim now, if you don't know the word quim, it is a probably Victorian era version of the C word, um, but it's used in polite society. So if you don't want to call someone the C word, you call them a quim. And it's acceptable as polite society and also because it's been in a Marvel movie. Loki said it to... Black Widow where he called her a mewling quim and I thought well if it's in Marvel it's acceptable to use as a customization word so <laughs> I measured it all up and then realized and got some drills out and then realized that I got round drills out and this is a square canvas so I had to re-measure everything so that's why there's some scribbles all over this page because I've gone into a bit of a panic and gone oh, I don't have the right drills blah 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 but we will make the word quim on this and where I originally had it as a 14 by 14 square for each letter, I'm taking it down to a 12 by 12 square for each letter. So there's not going to be so much border around each letter. And that makes it 144 squares because I remember my 12 times table per letter and times four letters means we need 576 drills for the outside color minus the 120 drills for each letter so we should need 456 of the border color and 120 of the letter color if I've done my maths correctly as you can see I've done it all over the page there now because this is largely a red canvas I've gone with a blue and a yellow drill for the letter and the borders of the letter. So for the yellow, I've got color 444 in AB. There should definitely be plenty of drills to make the border of each letter. And for the letters themselves, it's uh, this AB version of 3846. So really pretty. And now I know these are really gorgeous drills to be using on something that's going to be like this and just a customization example but you know I didn't pay a lot for these to begin with they came from AliExpress so I don't mind using them in this case because I think the colors are going to really pop against all of this red background as I've done with my calculations I know that I want 12 rows across for every letter so 12 fours are 48. I'm very proud of my 12 times table as you can tell. So I need a length of 48 squares and of course it's only going to be 12 squares down because I'm going to get it all across in one row. So we need a 48 by 12 rectangle. So obviously I can't pull this off and start writing on the canvas. 
as it is going to get a bit sticky with the ruler but I can put a little dot on the glue and it's not going to affect it and so we know the midpoint is going to be at the end of the U. So I want the word quim to be in the center of this heart not the center of the canvas because I want to keep the red part as clear as I can. This is where it's a bit boring and white and I think having the nice AB yellow and blue in this section will look a lot nicer. I want to obviously measure it out so it sort of hits the center of here. Um, now I, you can measure it with your ruler if you know where you want to put your drills. This doesn't have to be dead center. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is just have a quick look. So say from 4 to 20 is roughly where this bit of the white is so that is 16 centimeters so if I go eight centimeters I go roughly there where that eight is that's where I want the end of the U to be if that makes sense you'll see it as I do it if it's not making sense at the moment so what I'm going to do is just pull, pull this back ever so slightly and just put a little dot there it shouldn't affect the glue that gives me an idea where I want the U to be. Well, the end of the outline of the U. So like this part here. And we know we want that to be 12. It's really about where, how far you want it up now. Um, so I would probably make that, I reckon I would start it off around here. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that to that is what, how big I want the blocks. So I'm just going to mark them as well. Beautiful. So remembering they have to be 12 high and 48 across. So now that I know that, I can start with the letter. So I'll start with the customization part basically. Now I'm doing this without my light pad. And the sun's decided to hide now. Um, it is getting to that part of the day and we are in winter here in the Southern Hemisphere. But that's okay. We can persevere and keep going. So what I'm going to do is just do with you on camera the yellow border for each of the letters um, I may see how much time I've got if I want to like light wise and uh, talking wise if I can do the letters as well but basically oh, I might actually peel that back that way so I've got something to rest my hand on basically if I do the detail or the customization word with you on camera I can do the rest of it off camera and then show you what it looks like so I'm going to do the squares themselves and as I said in this beautiful yellow which is color 444 in an AB drill Okay, so here is the border done. 
in the yellow and I think I measured pretty well because I wanted it to be roughly in the center of this heart shape and remember it is only going to be tiny because it's only 48 drills across by 12 drills down now of course I also know that because I counted each square as 12 without a gap in the middle you're going to have these double lines here I mean if it really bothered me I could go around the outside with another row of yellow to make it double lines all the way around but I don't want to do that it's not bothering me like that it shows that each square is 12 by 12 so I think that looks quite good I'm quite happy with um, how the border part has come out might have got the yellow out I might as well just finish with the yellow and then put the blue in last hoping that I have left all the spaces correctly either way I'm going to have to count spaces so I will put the rest of the yellow in and I will uh, do another time lapse of that so you're not having to watch that uh, one drill at a time. We can do it in a time lapse and uh, let's see how it looks. Okay, so that is all of the yellow part done and I just need to fill in the letters with the blue one which I'll do now on camera as well because I think uh, it will be nice to see what the blue looks like and then when I've done the blue I will work on the rest of the diamond painting off camera and obviously do a cut to the completed piece so let's fill in the blue letters and then that will be it for this filming session but it'll all be still the one video so you'll see the completed piece will come up next uh, obviously so for you it will be a matter of seconds for me it's probably going to be a matter of weeks between filming uh, between doing this and the completed piece I'm realistic with what I'm like getting stuff done I'm not going to pretend otherwise but let's just do these blue ones
And welcome back to what would have only been a second for you guys, but has been about four days for me. So here is the actual finished piece. And I had to go back through the archives to find out when I got this actual kit to begin with. And it was from Fan Cells and I bought it in November of 2020. 20. So yeah, I've had it for a while lying around <laughs> before I actually did it, but I always did intend to do some customization with it. So as I say, here it is. It was a good first go. It taught me a couple of things as well as I hope it has taught you too. Uh, in hindsight, I think I would have liked to have made these letters somewhat bigger now that I know the space I was working with. And it, I don't mind it being that small either. It's just something that I did have enough space if I wanted to make it bigger. And I think the actual AB drills I got from AliExpress look really nice. They're quite shiny and just beautiful. And the actual image itself didn't turn out too bad. It was square drills, as I mentioned earlier. And I mean, although you're not going to get the exact great detail when it's a 30 by 30 of what the photo was, I think it looks quite good on the viewfinder. So I will know during editing if it looks just as good. And it would have been perfectly fine to do as is. But when you had such a blank space there, I thought it lent itself beautifully to being customized. So for a square kit that is two and a half years old now, uh, it still was really good. The canvas was still really sticky. It was poured glue, so there's really no drama with poured glue, no matter how long you leave them. And surprisingly, the, they were square drills and they were really good quality. I have put them away at the moment, but there was plenty left over. As you can see, I've cut out one of the keys because I will keep those square drills in my stash but yeah considering as I said it was two and a half years old the square drills were manufactured pretty well I had no trash drills at all so I'm really quite happy uh, overall with the results as I said the only thing next time I could do the words a bit bigger you know that's that's just a little thing so there you go. That's one way to customize a diamond painting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Um, have you tried customizing diamond paintings yourself like this or personalizing them? I'd love to hear from you and I always respond. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and the notification bell so you're up to date with when I have released my latest videos. If you are interested in supporting my channel further, I do have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. But that will do it for this video. Look out for more customizing or slash personalizing diamond painting videos on my channel I will be doing some more in the coming months but until that time please stay safe stay weird and I'll catch you in the next one bye